Hello everyone. In this video, we shall discuss question number three and question number four of chapter five, prime time. Figure it out. Given on page number one hundred fourteen. Are there an equal number of primes occurring in every row in the table on the previous page? Here, previous page refers to page number one hundred thirteen. Which decades have the least number of primes? Which have the most number of primes? Decade means a group of ten. So we need to find out which group of ten has minimum least number of primes and which has most maximum number of primes. So for this, we are going to refer to the table. So here is the table. I have circled the prime numbers as you can see. First row that is one to ten is one decade. It has one, two, three, four, four prime numbers. Second decade that is second row, eleven to twenty. One, two, three, four. Again, four prime numbers. Third row has two. Fourth has two. Fifth row has one, two, three. Fifty-one to sixty, we have two prime numbers. Sixty-one to seventy. One two two prime numbers seventy one to eighty we have three prime numbers eighty one to ninety two prime numbers and the last row that is last decade ninety one to hundred has one prime number so first two rows if you see has four each one two three four from one to ten and eleven to twenty has four prime numbers and the last row has just one prime number which is ninety seven. So the answer is no there are not equal number of primes in every row in the table that is the first answer second part which decades have the least number of primes decade 91 to 100 it has just one prime number and that prime number is 97 so only one prime number is there between 91 to 100 and which have the most number of primes so that is Decade one to ten and eleven to twenty each has four. This one also has four, and this one also has four. They have the most number of primes. That was question number three. Question number four. Which of the following numbers are prime? Twenty-three, fifty-one, thirty-seven, twenty-six. For this question also, we can refer to the same table of primes. Twenty-three is a prime number. Twenty-six is not a prime number. Thirty-seven is a prime number. Fifty-one is not a prime number. So the answer is twenty-three and thirty-seven are the prime numbers because these numbers have exactly two factors. Twenty-three has one and twenty-three itself, that is one and the number itself. Similarly, thirty-seven has one and thirty-seven. So these are the two prime numbers. The factors of fifty-one are one. Three, seventeen, and fifty-one. So more than two factors. That's a composite number. Twenty-six factors are one, two, thirteen, and twenty-six. So these are composite numbers. Okay. So you just need to write this part. Twenty-three and thirty-seven are the prime numbers. This is just for the explanation purpose. Hope this is clear to you. See you all in the next video. Thank you.